I have to open it. Oh god. Don't tell me it's the kid. Hello friends, that's you can welcome back to the murder on the Orient Express. Yeah. Uh we are here with our detective. We are trying to get the testimony of uh the nanny. Yeah, because apparently that was uh that was lost. Um okay. Where do I wanna go? <laughs> Maybe here. Maybe just use the, um, the door, the front door. How about that? Why do rich people like are having their doors Good with evening. glass? Colonel Armstrong? Yes. You're the detective they phoned about. Joanna Locke. I don't remember you. I'm newly assigned to the case. It's about time more detectives were involved. My wife... Sonia, she... she hasn't been herself. Every day is a waking nightmare for us. Tell me you've uncovered something new. I'm here to speak to your daughter's nanny. There was a computer problem. Her earlier statement has been lost. Oh, I see. We had hoped. Well, do as you wish. I won't be far if you need me. Aww. Poor guy. I mean, I'm guessing, like, the loss of a child is, like, the worst thing that you could ever experience so don't make him turn yeah <gasps> oh what a dear child look at this and like with photos and and like flowers them sympathy and support for the armstrong family during this difficult time thoughtful but never enough i mean uh, some flowers will not bring their child back but something i guess uh, where do we go if we find the nanny upstairs, I guess? Nanny? 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 The nanny is pregnant? Mrs. Armstrong, my name oh. is Joanna Locke. I'm a detective investigating the kidnapping of your daughter. May I talk to you? When is your baby due? Mrs. Armstrong? Sonia? I don't want to talk. I just want to see my daughter again. That's all that matters. The poor woman. I can't imagine how she feels. The world through the eyes of a child seems so sweet. Hmm. So we cannot talk to her. Hmm. Select an element in the file which can comfort Mrs. Armstrong. Everything looks okay here. Um. That is a great detective job. <laughs> Magnificent. Mrs. Armstrong? Let me show you this. Daisy, my little Daisy. I miss her so much. How good it is to see her face. I can't imagine the pain you're feeling right now. She loved her little stuffed animal, Fluffy. She took him everywhere with her. The kidnappers took it as well. They didn't have to. That means they wouldn't hurt her, doesn't it? Every lead will be followed up. You have my word on that. Thank you. I shouldn't lose hope. No, you should not. Somehow. I know it isn't my case. Bipa should be here. I promise. And I mean to keep it. Do you know where I can find Miss Murrow? She's in her room. Last door on the left. Okay. May I come back? If I have more questions? Of course. Anything I can do. So the picture, like, helped us? A toy castle. When I was a kid, I had a police station and a tiny squad car with a siren that really worked. So you're meant to be a detective and she meant to be a princess, I see. Mmm... Guessing we saw everything from here, so let's go and check the nanny. Was this room like on the left? Nope. This room. Oh, a cat! Oh my goodness, you're adorable. Hi. I want to look at your stuff first. A toy train. Now, here I am on a real one. Lyon, in France. What a lovely looking city. 
Oh, she's French. <gasps> the kid is adorable. Hello. We need Hello. to talk. Are you Suzanne Moreau, Daisy's nanny? Yes. 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 Yes.
<laughs> Why is it showing that you speak for like a long time? This one. Are you sure you were only gone for five minutes? Five, six, what does it matter? It was very quick. Doesn't seem like it. The phone record. You say you were only away five or six minutes, but Mrs. Armstrong says she was alone there more like 10 minutes. And the phone record shows that you stayed on the call for more than 30 minutes, way longer than you said. My mother is extremely ill. It's difficult for me. I may have lost track of time. When I came back, Daisy had disappeared. It must have been a coincidence. You have to be precise, Suzanne. A little girl's life is at stake. Why are you doing this? I didn't do anything wrong. I would never hurt Daisy. I need to check Suzanne's story. Then why do you... She's panicking. Why now? What is she afraid of? Then why do you... Yeah, you are really panicking. A suffering mother. Wait, what is this? Carl... What? Can I call her? What is this? Oh, reconstruct it. Mm. So she talks on the phone. Maybe. She talks on the phone. He... Mm. No, he puts the letter. He goes here. He Climbs the stairs, he takes her and then he leaves. That's it. No rookie mistake there. He leaves, so he enters the party. He places a ladder under the window to Daisy's room. Yes. Then he joins the party. Just one guest in the crowd. He somehow knows when Suzanne leaves the room, then sneaks upstairs. He opens Daisy's window, carries her down the ladder, and vanishes. Pretty much. I want to speak with your mother. So, I want to see the file, which I don't know what it is. What is this? Their fairy tale became a nightmare. Aww. Wanna talk? How are you doing? Are you holding up? You know, in the military, you're supposed to have the stiffest of upper lips. The Desert War taught me that soon enough. But this, it's difficult. Damned difficult. Harder on my good lady, of course. Do you know where I can find Miss Moreau? Her room is upstairs across the hall from... Daisy's. She seldom leaves it. Did you see Miss Moreau during the party? I remember seeing her at some point, but otherwise, no. I was too busy with my guests. Wear the smile, shake the proffered hand. Miss Moreau told me she called her mother. Well, why not? I believe they are very close. And the poor woman is not well. She needs some experimental treatment that isn't available yet in France. Oh. I won't be long. Take whatever time you need. Okay. Um, can I see my stuff? So I need to call the number, so I need to see my file. Can I see the file? Please. There you go. The file. Um... Where is the call stuff? There you go. So... We need to call 2140. 2140. Um... There you go. Okay, let's go. Get out. Okay. Uh, 2 one for zero. Where do we call Score. it? One for the good guys. <laughs> okay. The number you have called is not in service at this time. Please Interesting. And dial again, or contact your service provider. Interesting. The Suzanne called is not in service. A hospital? You are lying. Why is he not in service, hmm? Hmm? Lady, you have some talking to do. I should see if the Armstrongs can confirm what Suzanne told me. Okay. Uh, 
Um, I need you to tell me something. I spoke with Suzanne. She was phoning her mother. That's why you didn't see her when you went to check on Daisy. Yes, her mother. I tried to call the poor woman earlier that week, but the hospital said she's been in a medically induced coma for more than two months. What? Suzanne told me she called her mother, but she would have known her mother was in a coma. <gasps> lying. Why are you lying? Who are you calling? Who are you calling? Is that like a... Did you, did you call like a guy? Come on. Or did you call the murderers? Hmm? The number you called that night is no longer in service. I... I, I don't understand. That's... That's the number the hospital gave me to call my mother's room. Yeah, but... You told um, me you were on the phone with your mother when Daisy was abducted. As we said earlier, I didn't pay attention. And was on the phone longer than I said, but... Since my mother is very ill, she had to leave her hometown, Lyon, because the treatment is not approved yet in France. She is in an hospital in Boston for a special treatment. I call her every night to check on her. When I came back, Daisy was gone. I'll never forget. But the lady said she was in coma. The lady said she was in coma. Like... I need evidence she's lying, not guesswork. But... Are you sure you called your mother? Yes. Every night since she was admitted in December. Suzanne, I think you really care for Daisy. If you do, then tell me the truth. You can't have been calling your mother while she's in a coma. My mom really is in the hospital in Boston. She really is in a coma. I... I wasn't calling her. Yeah, I, I was on the phone with my boyfriend, Noah. Why for fuck five Why minutes! Panicking? Because he's gone. I haven't heard from him since the night of the kidnapping. I'm afraid he's somehow connected to Daisy's disappearance. Then why didn't you say that? He was just using me somehow. But wow. I swear I talked to him. Yes, for more like... 30 minutes that night. So he couldn't have kidnapped Daisy at the same time we were talking. But yeah, he but... could have kept you talking so someone else could take Daisy. Yes, you can see why I lied. Can't you? No. I was afraid you'd suspect me of having something to do with it. You can understand that, can't you? If you explain Suzanne, it. I want to believe you, but you've made it harder to find Daisy. Do you realize that? Oh my God. What have I done? What's most important is not what you've done, but what you do now. Go. I'll be back to talk to you. No more lies, Suzanne. For Daisy, no more lies. I need... You need to tell me who's mm. Noah. The name might lead us to that little girl. I am on this case now. Whether my captain wants me to be or not. Who's Noah? I need to find Romeo and Juliet. Amazing. Uh, uh, donkey. Mm. A locked diary? Let's see if I can shine some light on its secrets. I need to open this. A locked diary? I need something to open Let's the see diary. If I can shine some light on its secrets. And some more books. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. I need the key to open it. Ah! Lovely. An Eiffel Tower keychain, but no key. Very kitty. I expect Suzanne must have gone through a lot of tissues these past weeks. I don't care she lied to Small us. Small jewelry box. By the size, I'm guessing earrings. You can open it. And the key. Why put a key in a jewelry box? Because she wanted to, to hide it. But I want to see more. I want to see more. What do you have more here? A s oh, I thought it was a soap. Why would it be a soap? What's in the glass case? Oh, big surprise. Glasses. Perfect. Um, Victoria Go Les Miserables. Great book. Uh, flowers. They are kind of dead but okay can i do something with the flowers 
Wait. Noah. A card from the florist. It's signed N. From Noah. Exactly. Is there something else I need to see here? Huh. Okay, that was it. The, the, huh? Okay. Good. Uh, let's uh, let's check this. I wanna open the journal. I'm a noisy person. I need to know. Hmm. That doesn't work. You sure about that? You sure? About oh wait, I'm stupid. There you go. Okay, Suzanne. Let's see what you haven't told me. Nice. February 9th, 2019. Day at the park with Noah. I can tell he's opening up more and more with me. I chatted on and on about my job. I told him how much I liked the Armstrongs. Especially Daisy. I really feel like he's invested in our relationship. That kind of man is so rare these days. Heart. Mm, yeah. February 14, 2019. Valentine's Day, Noah and I went uh, to the Blue Lagoon, our favorite restaurant, for lunch. It was wonderful at first, but then something happened. Noah received a text message. I don't know what it was, but he said um, we had to leave. He wouldn't say anything else. Instead, we went away somewhere in the mountains. Finally, we arrived in, at a cabin in the middle of nowhere. He told me to stay in the car. Not very romantic for Valentine's Day. That's shady AF. That's, that's really shady. Noah gave me flowers. He's usually very attentive, but despite everything, I felt he was more distant today. I hope he's well. I would like to be more present for him, but I don't want to interfere in his private life. March 15, 2019. It's been a while since I wrote this in this diary. I didn't have the strength, and I think this is the last time I write in it. My dear Daisy was kidnapped, and I haven't heard from Noah since that day. It was the night Daisy was taken. He talked and talked. I left Daisy for too long and now she's gone. I thought he loved me, but he just never called again or anything. He hasn't replied to my messages since the night, Daisy. I'm lost. It's my fault. Daisy's gone. I didn't watch over her. I can her. see why Suzanne didn't tell me everything about this, Noah. It's clear when he disappeared that she realized something was very wrong. Oh, he used you, honey. He used you. He used you. A toy train. Sedge. Now here I am on a real one. Sedge. The cat left too. God damn it. They wanted to pet the cat. Where did the cat go? Mm. Can we talk? Can I talk to you with something more? Something new? Can you tell me anything about Suzanne's boyfriend? I know she dated our chauffeur for a while. There was someone else she'd met recently, but I don't recall his name. Okay. The cat! Adorable, I love the cat. The cat is adorable. Mm, good respect with the, 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 the man. If he knows anything about this Noah. Know anything about Miss Moreau's boyfriend? Her boyfriend? I know she went out with someone for a while there. More recently, I saw a man in a 4x4 who would pick her up on her nights off. He never Damn. got out of his car, just waited for her. She did seem to spend more time than usual on the phone these past few weeks. But she worked hard. We weren't going to begrudge her what free time she had. Since Daisy... Since the abduction. She keeps pretty much to herself. I won't be long. Take okay. whatever time you need. Amazing. So he was also pretty... Okay, we need two more information about it. What is this? Uh, select one element in the file that matches what Colonel Armstrong told you. Um, let's see. Oh, there you go. The 4x4. Four four. These tire tracks could well be from Suzanne's boyfriend's 4x4. Four four. Pretty much, yes. The detective gets it right. So he was here. We need to comfort, comf, comf, confront her. Yes. Uh, we need to speak, lady. We need to talk. 
I imagine these flowers must have been beautiful. Who gave them to you? The gardener. Noah. They are getting pretty wilted, but you're I lying. To throw them away. Honey, you're Tell lying. Tell me about your boyfriend. <laughs> have you been together long? My boyfriend? Why? He doesn't have anything to do with this. Please, Suzanne, the sooner you answer my question, Can you stop? the sooner we'll like... be done. His name is Noah Garretti. I met him at a Lunar New Year party in Great Barrington. He he is a kind and caring person. I mean, Although, this is well, what you know. I miss him. He had to go away on business. He should be back. He doesn't give you... Like, uh, he doesn't call you. Move on, Trademarks lady. Trademarks of a four-wheel drive vehicle were found outside the garden on the night of the kidnapping. Yes. Noah drives one, doesn't he? Where he does. is he, Suzanne? If you know anything more about him, you have to tell me. I know what you're thinking, but it's impossible. He was very nice to me. He never did anything to make me suspicious. Oh god, we you're so annoying. To, to the movies. Just like a normal couple is not the only man in that's the world. That's what you talk. That Th that's that's what you think. That's what you think. Uh, I know what you're thinking about. He was uh, very nice to me. He never did anything to make me suspicious. Oh, did he? You really didn't notice anything strange about Noah until he vanished? He could get moody at times. As if he had a lot on his He'd mind. He'd take you, like, in a... The, the, the Valentine's Day. The Blue Lagoon. The Blue you Lagoon. You mentioned the Blue Lagoon. Why? I don't know. I never thought about it. I guess he liked the place. That makes sense. In your diary... You say that Noah took you to a cabin in the mountains on Valentine's Day. Yes. You read my diary? Yes. I'm sorry, but we have to find Daisy. We both want that. So yes, I looked in your diary. I I found the key, so it's You're right. It's he right. He took me to a cabin in the woods. I waited for him in the car. He came out after a few minutes. He was very sweet and apologetic, but he never explained. We went back to the restaurant for dessert. And Did you ever go back to the cabin with him? No. Never. So what made Noah drive all the way to a cabin in the middle of nowhere? He left her in the car. Why was he there? This is important. I know it is. I can use Suzanne's it directions is. to the cabin and compare them to the map of the area I have in my car. Okay, find the location. We need to find the location. Okay, uh, let's see. This is the map. Yes. Tell me where is it? Where is the cabin? Thanks to the information Suzanne gave me, I should be able to find the cabin on this map. All right. So, he said, we left town then crossed two bridges. What town though? What town? Where where is the town? This town or this town? Maybe this town? We left the town and then we crossed two bridges. Um, and two bridges and some thick woods, then past a cornfield on the left. Maybe it's this one? On the left, then just trees and more trees. Finally, we stopped. Maybe somewhere here? place this is the place then she took two two so either no so it could be like this because it's one and then two and then on the right maybe this I got it. the cabin has to be here that's one I have to find that cabin i hope i'm not too late nice we did it we found it. So, is the cabin like... Mm, something to do with the dude from... From the train? This cabin looks... Questionable. This is not a romantic place. This is really not a romantic cabin. Okay, here is this famous cabin. This is not somewhere you are coming... Let's investigate. Like, on a... Valentine's Day, you right? You brought Suzanne to this dump on Valentine's Day? What a romantic. That's what I'm telling you. 
I'm just trying to see first. What is that? Can I take it? Okay. What is it? What do I need to see? Alright. Can we open the door? Hello? Is anyone there? I think you should have called for backup. Nobody. I can't just waltz in without a warrant. You sure about that? You sure about that? Mm, can we check the... That window is too high to see through. Mm, can we take the thingy and... If only I could see what's inside. That move this. That dirty enough. I could climb on it. Yes. Move it here. <gasps> the daisies. It's daisies like cat. They were here. If that stupid ass would have told us about the boyfriend, maybe we'd, we would have get her. It's Daisy's plush toy. If yes. Lucy is here, the kidnapper has been here. I have to get inside this cabin. Yep. Empty wine bottles. Somebody has been here lately. Ugh, an old hunting trophy starting to molt. Disgusting. <sighs> so they were here. And if that stupid ass. Give me this. A take it. Wood. Perfect for attacking doors. Just take it. Thank you. They're not here anymore. We can see that. But I'm just saying, if that bitch would have told us from the first time about this, maybe Daisy would have been saved. But no. You have to like take care of toxic ass bitches. Look at that. A broken door to investigate. No need for a warrant. Some people seem to have played here before. The floor is scratched and worn in this area. Hmm, the sofa must have been moved a lot. Why? Is it... Can we move it back, please? Thank you. Damn, it's booby-trapped. If I move, it could go off. And that countdown tells me it wants to go off anyway. Oh shit. Oh no. Oh no. Oh god. I cannot focus. I cannot focus. I don't know what to do. I should have like... Why did I have to do that? Why did I have to do that? Why? <laughs> Oh god, I'm the worst detective ever! Oh god! Um. Okay. Honey! No! I fucked up. I fucked up. Since I'm telling this story to you, Mr. Poirot, you should be able to deduce I didn't blow myself up. Let's see if I can remember how I diffused the bomb. Okay. In this one. I I'm trying to focus so hard on this one. No! Damn it! 
Okay. This half is done. No. <laughs> oh, what is this? <laughs> what are those? Uh, can you stop beeping? What is that? Okay. Nope. Nice. So far, so good. Is there more? I if that's how close it was. This would have ended my investigation right here. These rods are heading towards the canisters. It must be the trigger for the explosion. I smell a strong, sweet smell. Damn. I think these are filled to the brim with diethyl ether. Incredibly flammable. It looks like the kidnappers wanted to utterly destroy this place and whoever opened this hatch. A wooden crate? I... I have to open it. Oh, God. Don't tell me it's the kid. Oh, no. See. No. Oh, is the kid. I called in my discovery of the body. Is then the there was kid. nothing I could do except protect the site for forensics. Why did they have to do that though? I the forensics team for arrived what? an hour later. Cordoned off the cabin with crime scene tape and went to work. Looking for physical evidence, fingerprints, testing for fluids, DNA, any clues science can uncover. Damn. Why did he hit to do that? Honestly. They removed Daisy's body. The autopsy would take place in the morning. But I had one more stop to make. And it's all the nanny's fault. <sighs> Sad. Oh no! Sorry. Yeah, so now from a kidnapping group, it's a homicide um, investigation. And it's all the nanny's fault. Damn. That night, I swore to find the monster who killed that child. Why would you kill a child? Why would you do that? For what reason? What was the reason? There is no, no such thing as a good reason. Just take the money, leave the child. I. I... Damn. Ratchet? Uh, on train? S saw me? How? Daisy. Did Ratchet had something to do with it? Sure about that? She was awake. And then she collapsed again. I take the responsibility. She was weaker than I realized. Mm. Oh. Lie still while I examine you. Pupils dilated. I'm all right. Don't look all right, though. He's looking at his hands. You are far from all right. You have been heavily sedated. Your pulse is very weak. I... I have to... to finish my story. Ratchet can't escape again. Can't escape. He's, Have no fear uh... of that, mademoiselle. Ratchet will not escape. We must hear her story. This woman needs rest. I will let you know when she is recovered enough to continue. But I warn you, it will be some time. I understand, doctor. Thank you. I have completed my preliminary examination of the deceased. I think that it will interest you. Indeed it will. 
And I have other witnesses to interrogate. You are right. Let's not put this poor woman in danger. But there will not. be plenty of time for her to finish her story when she has recovered. I don't... By she's not... Uh, Tell me the results of your examination. I don't feel like she's... Um, I don't feel like she's... Um, what do you call? A suspect. She is British. I must admit I'm not right this time. You're American. Sorry. That was easy. I didn't pay attention. Time of Can death. You estimate the time of death. Rigor mortis was advanced, but not complete. So between I 12 and 2 a.m. occurred between midnight and 2 in the morning. Hmm, that tallies with it's the witness statements I've collected so far. Cause what of death. What is the cause of death? Multiple Step stab wounds to the upper torso. It's odd there are no signs of a struggle that he might was indicate asleep. one of the first wounds was enough to kill him. It seems that Monsieur Ratchet had taken sleeping pills during the night. Indeed. Ah, that would explain the lack of defensive wounds. Yes. This is Mr. Smell. McQueen and Mr. Masterman told me that Monsieur Ratchet didn't smoke. Can you confirm this? I can't say without a more extensive post-mortem. Okay. What can you tell me about the stab wounds? I counted 12 in all. One or two are so slight as to be practically scratches. On the other hand, at least three would be capable of causing death. The angle of the wounds is instructive. Most appear to have been struck by a right-handed person. But you see this one under the right armpit. It's not a deadly blow given the depth, but a right-hander couldn't have done it. It was most certainly struck with the left hand. So, our murderer is left-handed. No, it is more difficult than that, is it not? As you say, Mr. Poirot, Let's some of these other blows are just as obviously right-handed. Maybe have two killers! Do we have a first and second murderer, as the great Shakespeare would put it? The first murderer stabs his victim and exits left. Turning off the light. Then a second murderer comes in the dark, does not see his or her work has been done, and stabs a dead body. Magnificent. You think so? <laughs> I'm glad. It sounds to me a little like nonsense. Maybe. Thank you, Doctor. He can Excellent like use both hands in the same way, so how about that? Please let me know when I may speak again with Mademoiselle Locke. Of course. What is the best way to find out who is a wave smoker? Of our passenger. A smoker might innocently turn me down. Ask them if they smoke. I would just say, uh, wanna smoke with me? <laughs> it's certainly a good place to start. What is the best way to find out who is a vape smoker? We call a conversation about vapes as book to remember who smokes a vape, remember people I have since. Maybe. I don't remember any conversations about smoking. The topic is of no interest. People that smoke. Yes, I have personally seen some passengers smoking. I just have to remember who they were. Mm. What is the best way to find out who is a vape smoker? <sighs> Ask someone who smokes a lot if they know of vape smokers. Search the suitcase. No, Come no on, it's gonna be. Authority. God Anyone damn it! Could refuse to let me search their belongings. We cannot wait for the next stop. I would have like just yes, watched I them. It's likely they will give me the list of who smokes what. That's the right answer. I would have just like search everything. But we're going for too long, so that would be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a like for this amazing mustache. Subscribe if you're new because there'll be so nice to have you here. And as always, I hope I can see you all on the next one. Bye!